yo, I don't want to waste your time, so I'm going to go straight into this. I want you to become obsessed. If you have big dreams, big goals, big aspirations, I want you to become obsessed about it for you to get there. And I'm not talking about what's conventional, like a secure job or a family or having a beautiful home because you can be average and achieve those things. I'm talking that if you know you're something special and you want to be in the top 1% and you want to have an exceptional life, you have to become obsessed of that one dream of yours. So if you simply dream bigger than the average person, if you identify as that, you need to go all in and put all your effort into that dream. If you want a different life than other people, you need a different approach. If you want extreme results, you need extreme behavior. Maybe you don't know your dream. That was me. So maybe you're someone that you know you're different, you know that you're meant for more, you know that you can be creative, be insightful and inspirational. Yet it's hard for you to go all in into something because you don't have a passion, you don't have a dream. That was me. That was me when I graduated college in 2019. I knew that I had a lot to offer. I knew that I had potential inside of me, but I didn't know which direction to go to because I wasn't passionate about anything. So I made a choice. I chose to become obsessed about one thing. I became obsessed in finding my purpose. And what that looks like is being obsessed with self-development. Because finding your purpose is just a concept. Self-development is an action. It's what you do every single day. It allows you to make choices that are actionable. So instead of sitting around and moping that I didn't know what to do with my life and just try to think my way through it, I simply committed to self-improvement and figuring out for myself where I wanted to go. I developed myself, my skills, my knowledge, and ultimately, I have learned to heal my past so I can step into a bigger and brighter future. That's what I want you to do for yourself. If you don't know what your passion is, become passionate about finding your passion. Today, I feel like I have so many passions. I feel so dedicated to keep self-improving. I've been doing that since 2019, do you realize? We're in 2024 and I'm still committed to this. So you might wonder, how have you committed? How have you stayed disciplined for years now? I made pain my best friend. Instead of running away from my pain, I decided to become so familiar with it that it became my fuel for energy. Pain was my single driving force every single day to get me to do what I had to do. Most of us are trying to escape our pain, but you don't realize how valuable your pain can be to go where you want to go. Pain tells you you are dissatisfied with your life right now. And if you want to step into a bigger life, you need to feel that pain. You need to let it teach you things. You need to let you, you need to let it tell you which direction to go into. It is so much easier to use your pain than desire to go chase your dreams. For example, let's say someone said you need to make money ASAP but you have two options. Option A is if you make that money, you get beautiful cars, a beautiful home, and beautiful vacations. And option B is if you don't make that money, your family will get kidnapped and murked. Which one motivates you more? I guarantee it's option B. See how pain can motivate you? In this reality, option B is your potential. Instead of your family dying hypothetically, it's your potential that will die if you don't do anything. The reason I choose self-discipline every single day to better myself and get to where I want to go is because I want to make my life meaningful. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter the materialistic things that you get if you don't feel like you have a purpose or meaning in your life. You create that meaning by being self-disciplined and creating this sort of daily goal an urgency to self-improve. If you don't know where to start, just start with your pain. Ask yourself, what actually pains you? For example, I used to be so insecure about not being intelligent. So growing up, I never really had great grades at school. I was an average student. So when I went to college, I decided to put my whole effort and prioritize school over everything. And I ended up 
achieving a 4.0 in pre-med. I did straight A's for college as a pre-med student. And you would think that I would feel better about myself, but that did not make me feel wise. It just made me realize that I can follow rules and directions and I can be a good student. But now I was like, let me be a good student of life. Let me study myself. Let me study my behaviors and how I act and react. I still felt insecure every single day. I still felt like an imposter having good grades at school because I still did not feel smart. And that drove me to keep learning, to keep growing, to keep investing in my own knowledge. Trying to overcome my insecurity and all the other insecurities that I have has made me obsessed with self-improvement. But look at me. I know you don't know me and you probably don't even have the credibility, but I know that I have grown so much and that I have cultivated a lot of wisdom for my age. I'm only 26 and I can give value to people that are twice my age. I literally have a platform of self-improvement where people twice my age go on there and ask me for advice. Something that I really said to myself coming out of college was that, what is my passion? What is my passion? And the thing that I didn't realize is that a passion is something that you build. It's not something that you find. Few people are born with a passion. It's something that you actually cultivate. The more you expose yourself to something and put time into it and stay disciplined, it grows a passion inside of you because you become more knowledgeable. You can make more connections. You literally are prioritizing your life around this one thing. So I literally became passionate about my self-development and it opened doors for new passions for me. Now I love learning about entrepreneurship. I basically feel like I'm passionate about learning. I think that's the best thing to be passionate about because you always have something to learn in life. There's no limit to that. But the thing that people don't realize is that the word passion has a root, a Latin root, meaning suffering. There is suffering in passion. Passion is not just this fun, beautiful thing that you can just do with so much ease. There is suffering with passion. I view passion almost as the reward of your actions. Your actions are uncomfortable. Your actions are self-discipline. And as a result, you become passionate. You don't do things because you're passionate. You literally become passionate by doing the things. It will require patience. It will require endurance. It will require tolerance and sacrifice. And that is all suffering. But ultimately, it brings you to another side, to a level up, and you evolve as a human being. If you stay comfortable, you will never find your passion because you will stay in your comfort zone, remain average, and indulge in all the instant gratification that everybody else does. You can't expect a journey towards greatness and fulfillment without suffering. So you're going to have to choose to suffer. Becoming obsessed about something is also about suffering because passion is almost like an obsession. And yes, it sucks to suffer on your self-improvement journey because you're choosing to suffer. But you're going to suffer regardless because you know that you have that potential. I'd rather suffer by putting such high expectations for myself and constantly find myself failing at reaching those expectations, but at least trying over and over again and get closer to where I want to be than to feel suffering because I'm always thinking, what if? What if I tried? I have never regretted anything in life besides not trying something. I have never regretted failure because it has always taught me so much. It has always made me grow. If I regret something is if I stayed scared and less listened to my lizard brain holding me back to achieve a new growth for myself. Don't go by every single day thinking, what if I did this and I would have become that? Don't decide to choose that pain choose otherwise you are aware right now you're listening to my video you are hearing what i'm telling you choose pain to go where you want to go choose to suffer for where you want to go if you don't sacrifice for what you want what you want becomes a sacrifice i know i'm just giving you quotes after quote but those all ring true it is so true So you're going to have an unbalanced life to become obsessed about something, to become obsessed at fulfilling your potential. You will have to make sacrifices. You will have to prioritize some things over others. You will not have a normal life. But that's because you don't want a normal outcome. You don't want to be mediocre. You don't don't want to be average. If that's something that you want, I don't even know why you're watching. But if you're still watching, it's because you know I'm speaking the truth. And you know, I wasn't born this way. I wasn't born with this capacity to maybe ignite some passion inside of you, some desire, some motivation. It's something that I have built. 
I was born with a potential, just like you have a potential, but I'm the one that put myself out there. That I'm the one that literally from the beginning of the year, I've been showing up on YouTube two, three, four times a week trying to build this skill. You're not going to be who you want to be overnight. It's going to take time. It's going to be mundane and repetitive and it's going to feel like you're not making progress. But if you keep hold of that obsession, I promise you, you will get there faster than if you let yourself become distracted by 10,000 different things and temptations and people and your lizard brain, basically. So my point is, I think that people underestimate the amount of obsessiveness that it is required for you to be great. Like everything I do is a, like everything I think about every single day is about this channel. Everything I do is thinking about my YouTube channel and my community on my school platform. That's all I think about is how I can give value, how I can grow and it's learning about myself so I can give you insight so you can make progress. That's all I think about. You might think it's unhealthy, but look at me. I'm going to be in the top 1%. I'm simply growing right now. I might be a small channel, but I'm growing. I believe in myself because I see myself put in the work every single day. If you think I don't want to be out of balance or I don't want to not have control, you're not meant to be great. Because to become great, it's chaotic. It's going to be a tough ride of ups and downs and self-doubt and failure and questioning and unmotivated that is necessary you just have to believe in yourself and keep doing the things that you need to do and i want to give you a little bit of an insight of something that could be extremely valuable to you if you feel like you can be impactful like you can be a leader that you can inspire other people focus on this one thing how can you help younger you so basically, what have you gone through that you have overcome that you can help someone else going through the same thing? Usually, your purpose is really close to your experience. The person that you know best is who you've been. And if you have learned to overcome some obstacles, you can teach someone to do the same thing. Because I know you've been on your self-development. I know you're on my channel because you're into self-improvement. So I know there are things that you have managed to get better at. Teach someone that. I want you to stop walking around with a bag telling yourself that you're not enough, that you're not worthy, that you're not good enough, that you're not an expert because you being one step ahead is all that is necessary for you to help someone. People want to be relatable to other people. So if you have 10,000 different steps ahead of someone that is just a beginner, you're not going to be relatable to them. So whatever you know right now is just enough for you to help younger you. You are so familiar with who you've been that whatever insights that you have can be so authentic that that's all that is needed for you to connect with the community. What do you think I'm doing right now? Everything I'm telling you is what I wish I knew a couple years ago. If I started my self-improvement journey and I knew I wanted to impact others, I mean, I thought about doing my YouTube channel since 2019. I started in 2022. Because I did not have the push. I did not have an another version of me that was telling me to do what I wanted to know. So no matter all the mistakes you've had, no matter all the failures, no matter all the moments that you're embarrassed or ashamed of and you're not proud of yourself, forget about that. That's what makes you human. That's what makes you qualified to relate to other people because I promise you, we've all been through hardship. Take your power back, believe in yourself, get to work and obsess over that dream of yours. All right, I hope you got the message. If you're interested in a like-minded community, I have a private community for free that you can sign up in the link in the description where we push ourselves and challenge ourselves every single day. Hope to see you there. I love you so much. We're built different and let's get after our dreams, baby. Mwah.